trigger points are hyper-irritable bands of knotted muscle tissue and form as a result of underlying osteoarthritis. These muscle knots restrict range of motion and contribute significantly to functional limitations and stiffness. One of the primary reasons exercise therapy can be so effective in those with knee osteoarthritis is that they address and help treat underlying trigger points in the surrounding musculature. What many physicians don't realize and what many people don't understand is that muscle problems contribute a significant amount of pain to those who suffer from symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. This study found that the prevalence of myofascial trigger points in the muscles around the knee was up to 50% in patients with mild to moderate symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. Moreover, this study found that those with moderate degree of knee osteoarthritis had significantly more myofascial trigger points in their muscles when compared to asymptomatic age-matched subjects. So there is pretty good literature data that people with knee arthritis have myofascial trigger points in the muscles around their knee. But what are the outcomes when we start to treat these muscles? This study looked to answer that question. They enrolled people with knee osteoarthritis who were waiting for a total knee arthroplasty, also known as a joint replacement surgery. The authors wanted to know if these patients would get pain relief if the muscles around the knees were treated with trigger point injections. First and foremost, the authors report that myofascial trigger points were identified in all patients enrolled in the study, 100% of them. This does make sense because all of these patients have severe arthritis and are waiting for a joint replacement surgery. The authors then performed trigger point injections to treat the muscles. They found that by only treating the muscles, the patients experienced significantly reduced pain intensity, pain interference, and improved mobility. The most commonly affected muscles were the medial head of the gastrocnemius followed by the vastus medialis oblique. They report that there was an acute reduction in pain and notable improvement in function immediately following the intervention and that the results persisted over an eight week course of investigation. The authors go on to conclude that 92% of patients enrolled in the study experienced significant pain relief with trigger point injections, indicating that a significant proportion of osteoarthritis knee pain was myofascial in origin. This means that a huge proportion portion of the pain that people experience from knee osteoarthritis came from the muscle, not necessarily the joint. This next study found similar results. The authors looked at if dry needling would help reduce pain in patients with mild to moderate symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. They found that the application of one session of dry needling in the quadriceps and gastrocnemius muscles led to significant decreases in pain scores over the one month period of investigation. Better yet, trigger point injections are covered under insurance. The one downside of this procedure is that it is more painful when compared to the other injections that go into the knee joint. People who do not tolerate needles or medical interventions may not be able to endure the trigger point needling required to break up all the muscle knots. Thankfully, there are other options you can try to address and treat the trigger points. The first is heat. Heat therapy is much more effective than ice when it comes to myofascial pain. Applying heat helps increase blood flow to the muscle. This allows the muscles to loosen up and decrease tightness of the knee. This can help tremendously with knee stiffness. Many people with knee arthritis actually discover heat therapy on their own as they find that when the weather gets cold, their pain gets worse. Applying heat is simple and can be incredibly beneficial. You want to make sure you cover the entirety of the calf, the inner thigh, and the outer thigh muscles. This is best done with a larger heating pad. The second option is acupressure therapy. These come in many forms such as massage guns, soft tissue massages, and foam rollers. All of these are designed to help relieve muscle tension and improve blood flow. I've found foam rolling to be by far the most effective in treating trigger points in the leg. It's much more effective than even the most expensive massage guns. 
Now with that said, figuring out a comfortable position to foam roll can be tricky. So I encourage you to Google how to foam roll each muscle group. The most commonly affected muscles involving knee osteoarthritis are the vastus medialis oblique, the VMO, the vastus lateralis, the hamstrings, and the medial and lateral heads of the gastrocnemius.